provoked to ponder. Brought to you by Apostolic Aya. Greetings in Jesus' name. I'm Bishop Chester Wright, and this is the next episode of Provoke to Ponder. Uh, I have a scripture to share with you as the theme of this particular uh, episode, this particular lesson, message, as you would choose to receive it. Uh, it's Proverbs 4, verse 26. Ponder the path of thy feet and let all thy ways be established. Ponder the path of thy feet and let all thy ways be established. I know that there are a few individuals, they have a one-year plan for their life and a five-year plan and a 10-year plan. And I, I, I know that there are secular people, they do that, but I know some Christian people, some Bible believers that have a one-year plan, a five-year plan, a 10-year plan, you must know a God that I don't know because I've never let, I've never known him to give that clear of a direction that far down the road. Oh, there might be a very basic general direction, but you can't tell me that Paul knew where he was going to be in five years. You can't tell me that Peter knew where he was going to be in one year. You can't tell me that. It's not in there. It's not in there. The Bible says that we walk with God. That word walk implies one step, which is followed by another step, which is followed by another step, which is followed by another step. I can, I can stand right here and I can focus on a, tar, on a, <coughs> a destination as my goal, which may be a thousand miles away. But I'm not going to get there focused on that thousand mile goal. I may have that in the back of my mind. But after at 78 years of age and having had the Holy Ghost for 66 years and having been in the ministry officially according to the UPCI for 55 years, I have never experienced God letting me... <laughs> Uh, have that much direction and, and, and know all of that is going to, why? Why? That's, that's the problem we have, you see. Some of us have received a word from God, but we took over the fulfilling of that word. We took over trying to make that word come to pass. The scripture says, ponder the path of thy feet. Ponder the path and let all thy ways be established. Established in what? Established in God. Established in the word of God. And a very well-known verse that most people can quote to some small degree at least. Psalms 119, 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. <coughs> Forgive me. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So I'm to ponder the path of my feet and let all my ways be established. How? How? By the word being a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Now this implies that at least a good portion of my walk with God is going to be in Times where there's not much light. I don't need a flashlight, a lamp in at noon. I was uh, uh, graduated from the Naval Academy in 1968. I had an entire se semester in navigation. And the only kind of get navigation there was until GPS satellites were put in orbit, which hasn't been that long ago, relatively speaking. Uh, we... We had to uh, navigate by the, the stars. You can't see the stars in the daytime. So we learned 
that the only way you can know exactly where you are is in the dark. Because those stars are in fixed positions relative to the earth, or they at least are enough that we can guide our path with it. So we learn to shoot bearings or, or see, see what, what, what direction is that? That's a bearing. It's all co- so-called an azimuth. You plot it on a course, you do it. And where those lines cross, that's where you are. So at night, you can determine where you are. But you can't see those stars in the daytime. So in the daytime, you can set a direction, a course, from your last known position. You don't know what, how much effect that the wind and the waves, the tides are having on you. You're drifting. You're not on that course. You're hoping that by the time it starts to get dark enough, you can see the stars. You can plot another course and find out where you are and see how far off that course you are. So you can make another course correction to your destination. So the implication of these verses is that the word gives me light for my path at times when I can't see well because of relative darkness or total darkness or whatever it may be. The problem is we have such confidence in ourselves during the times of daylight well, I can see where I'm going, but I don't know where I am because I can't fix my position on the sun. The sun's moving constantly, and the moon comes up while there's daylight. It, the moon's moving constantly. I can't, I can't chart my position, my exact location, based on the sun or the moon. I can set a direction, and I can go in that direction, and I can hope that I'm going to be in that direction. But God lets nighttime come to our lives. In fact, the scripture says, and the morning, the evening and the morning was the first day, the evening and morning, second day. In other words, every day started with darkness and then came to light. Why? Because you can't get to where you're going if you don't first know where you are. So God lets darkness, things of darkness that we don't like, come into our lives so that we can fix our position in Him. So that when the light comes up, we've got a direction. And we go that direction in the daytime. Until it starts getting dark again. And now we can find out where we are again. That's why the Bible says it this way. We quote these because they're pretty sounding words. And they're some of the most practical, directive advice that the scripture can give you. These are principles of day-to-day living with the Lord Jesus Christ even though they're found in Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So I'm pondering the path of my feet. His word is a lamp unto my feet, light unto my path. And he tells me how to have guaranteed direction in the paths that he intends for me to walk. And and this is how I get guaranteed direction. I trust in the Lord with all my heart. I lean not unto my own understanding. In all my ways, I acknowledge that he's God and I'm not. That he's in control and I'm not. And when I do those things, he promised me, he guaranteed to me, I would receive direction from him that was reliable, trustworthy, that would get me where he intends for me to go in him. I pray that you would ponder these things. I pray that you would consider them carefully and come to a decision that says, that's exactly what I want with God. I want to fellowship with him. I want him to be a light on my path. I want him to be my light, my my guide. I want him to be the one giving direction. I want to have his grace to follow his direction. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you would receive this word from from God today for you 
and that you would allow this to work in your life to his glory and to your blessing. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen.